So, hi there. In this video, I'll be finally showing you my full gear loadout for my through hike of Estonia. I finally assembled all of my gear that I'm going to need for my 510 mile through hike. Uh, this is my first through hike, so expect to see a lot of, you know, rookie stuff and probably a lot of items that I um, might give up during the hike. But um, when I was assembling this gear, I had like this triangle. Uh, comfort, cost, and weight. And you always know you gotta pick two. So this is not an ultralight setup. And yeah, I'll get started. So, first off is my pack. This is the Osprey Aura AG 50 liter women's pack. Um, this is the first item in my big three, of which I've done a separate video of. If you want, you can go check that out. But yes, this is my pack of choice. Here I've got the rain cover for this pack, which I'm also taking with. For my shelter, I have the Gear Top One Person Three Season Tent, which I will show you right now. I have set it up. I might sleep in it tonight. I didn't want to take it down for the sake of this video. And it is a tent that is using trekking poles to set up. These are basic uh, 13 euro trekking poles that I bought for this hike. And uh, of course I was on a budget, but I don't know what type of a hiker I am, how much I'm going to be using trekking poles while actually walking. So I got cheap ones to use on my tent and then uh, if I turn out to be a, an active trekking pole user I will upgrade from to a better pair. Other items of my big three include a sleeping bag. This is the uh, Robins Far Away Square Bag. It's a two season bag. And I'm pairing it with a Snug Pack Thermalon sleeping bag liner, just to give it a couple of extra degrees, uh, because we might have some chilly nights. So, this is a simple uh, foam pad with a reflective surface, and I'm pairing it with a uh, Nature Hike inflatable uh, sleeping pack that has an egg crate texture. I found this combination to work really well, and this doesn't add too much weight to my setup. Okay, in here I've got a stuff sack with some extra tent stakes and a repair kit for my gear, a simple sitting pad, and I'm moving on to my clothing and footwear. These are my shoes. This is the Adidas Galaxy Trail, uh, men's trail runners, and these are my camp shoes. Just simple flip-flops to use at camp. These, uh, this is some DIY gaiters. I made these from above. So simple, lightweight, hopefully useful. And here I've got my sleeping clothes. I've got sleeping socks, woolen. These were made by my mom, so obviously I'm taking them with me. Here is a base layer shirt. It's a very, very old Halley Hansen shirt and it's ridiculously warm. And some warm base layer pants. This is my Crag Hoppers Marissa Gore-Tex jacket. It's my pretty big raincoat. So, moving on with the clothing. Here I've got a white Nike cap. I've got a bug net for my head. I've got two sports bras, um, I've got uh, a Nike dry fit top. For a long sleeve I have a North Bend just synthetic long sleeve shirt. It's got a nice ventilation panel in the back. For long pants I have Nike cotton mix tights. Yes I know you're not supposed to bring cotton on a hike but they are super comfortable and I don't care. And for shorts I've got North Bend 
shorts, which I modified. I actually made them shorter than they originally were. So, for my socks, I've got Injinji Trail toe socks. These are mini crew. Two pairs, two pairs of synthetic underwear. Uh, one bandana. Two buffs. These are my favorite buffs. Go with me everywhere. And a pair of liner gloves. So, other gear items. In here I've got Hiker's Passport, which enables me access to some of the services for hikers on long distance trails. I've got some maps, not all of them, uh, but the first sections. And a little cheat sheet telling me where the campsites are and where the water sources are, and I made that myself. In here I've got a sketching set composed of a moleskin um, journal and four ink pens. Uh, here I've got mosquito repellent. This one is a natural one. It's made of essential oils and this is what I'm going to use on my skin and face. And this is for clothing. It's a little bit tougher. I've got here a tennis ball which I intend to use for massage purposes. Don't know if I'm going to be using it but I'll start out with it. Uh, now my tech department. <laughs> this is my phone, uh, Blackview BV7000 Pro. It's kind of like an endurance phone, but I do not recommend it. It's not a very good phone. And I've got this uh, little... This is actually a case for the uh, camping towel, but my phone fits right in here and I plan to attach it to the shoulder strap of my pack. Here I've got a little tripod, I've got one battery bank, I'm actually taking two with me. The other one is a 10,000 milliamp, this is 7800 milliamp Romos Sailing 3. I've got charging cords, um, there are two cords here, one for my camera, one for my phone, and there will be one more cord with the other battery bank. I've got a little iPod shuffle and uh, headphones, iPod charger. Here I've got uh, memory cards for my camera. This is the quick charger I will be using. It's a Romos Qualcomm 3 quick charger. It's got these, this kind of output. And uh, the rest of my tech is a headlamp and the camera that I'm shooting with, which is the Olympus Tough TG870. Here I've also got a compass. And uh, down below is my medical pack. So, um, emergency blanket and uh, a pair of latex gloves. Bandage for my knees or my ankles. This is some pills. I've got in here magnesium, allergy pills, and some painkillers. This is uh, a pack of some ointments that I might want to use. This is a feminine hygiene pack. And here I've got some wound treatment and some athletic tape. Athletic tape I'm going to use for blister prevention and treatment, obviously, but also if I need to, I can uh, tape my knees. I sometimes have knee problems and, you know, I'm just taking enough to tape my knees once if I have to. So, I've also got a Compeed um, anti-blister stick. Haven't used it, don't know exactly how useful it will be. Sunscreen and sun protect lip balm. Now moving on to my hygiene section, I've got some hair ties, tangle brush, kind of travel size, toothbrush, toothpaste, small camping towel, uh, two packs of these wet wipes. In here I've got some hair stuff, piece of a shampoo bar, piece of a conditioner bar, and a little piece of solid deodorant. And this is some hair product. I know it might seem stupid to take so much like beauty stuff with you, but um, I really want to and I want to keep my hair in a good condition and I know I have to brush it and, and not have it tangle all the time. Um, another kind of hygiene item is this collapsible water. A bucket. It holds about four liters of water and I intend to use it for doing my laundry and washing my hair because I will not be 
having like a laundry option along the trail. This makes it convenient to take your water um, away from the water source and do your washing there rather than do it you know close to the water source or in the water source which you're not supposed to do. So I'm hoping this little fella here will be useful. So more hygiene items, some cotton pads, some q-tips, some stuff to clean my face with, uh, razor, ear plugs and floss. Okay, moving on. Uh, pepper spray, hand sanitizer, and this is my kitchen department. In here I've got a titanium spork. Uh, it's foldable. I've got a very personalized uh, Victorinox knife. It's got my name on it and an engraving from my colleagues who gave it to me as a present. And uh, the rest of it, Sea to Summit, X mug, um, just a basic metal pot for cooking and a DIY pot cozy. This huge 20 year old gas stove. Uh, I will start out with a canister of this size and then I will resupply with like a canister as half size. Some uh, matches. This is my food bag. Uh, for water filtration I've got a Sawyer Mini and Here's the pouch. I don't have my water bottles here right now, but I will be carrying up to three liters. No more. Definitely no more. And I will be back, back flushing with a sports cap bottle. I will be resupplying along the trail using a uh, mail drop, but uh, I will start out with about seven days worth of uh, food and supplies. I will do some last-minute additions in the form of some fresh food or some snacks that I'll get along the way, but here goes. Here I've got seven breakfast mixes that I made myself. Uh, dinner mixes, this is instant mashed potatoes, uh, rice, uh, rice nut ramen, uh, rice noodles, uh, buckwheat meals, some instant soups and this interesting item that I found in the shop that I want to try out. In here I've got some snacks, uh, some coffee. I will be taking proper coffee with me to uh, sugar, cream powder, tea, and some tortillas. Uh, there will be a separate video about what's going into my mail drop boxes. I will have three uh, resupply boxes over a stretch of 510 kilometers or, oh, sorry, 510 miles and or 820 kilometers. My first resupply will be about two weeks into my hike, so kind of in the middle. My second resupply will be like a week after that and a third one a week after that or just however, however it plays out. So, um, let me know what you think about this setup. If you got any advice for me, that's always welcome. If you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see me make more. And uh, I will see you next time or I will see you out on the trail.